Welcome back to The Charismatic Voice. Last time that I delved into Gojira was with the help of Will Ramos. He's not here today, but I do have great guidance from many of you on what song to choose. Shout out to our subscriber for TazmouseTM537 who wrote, I love this band. Stranded broke me. It came at a time of grief. It was beautiful. Songs that break us are the best. So let's get to it. That sound that's almost like cats fighting is fantastic. Like, what are they doing to create that sound? That sound is so cool. I They know that it was so cool. I like the way that they're letting it stand with so much space around it so that we can appreciate it. And, and then they give it to us many more times. It's just, that's really cool. Let's go back to the beginning, hear it one more time. Oh, oh. It's like even got a little melody in there. It's cats fighting while on melody. What? I'm trying to figure out what are those pitches? This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Like the, the switch up of the beat. And also uh, this music video is very, very exciting. The, uh, her like curly hair and the way it's moving around her, I think is so awesome. And I'm excited to, to see some crazy head banging. Um, gonna go back one more time. <laughs> I, Joe's voice has a combination of openness and relaxation with distortion and aggression that is mind boggling. I understand why he's in the spotlight, why so many people are talking about his vocals. It's really like a shocking combination of tone. I also just have to say, those drum fills are always exhilarating to me. Like, I, I think that the combination of fantastic riffs that we've got going on, the vocals and then the drum fills, it, it, this band is just tight. Like that 
runs the hook. Wow. So I think <laughs> this looks like it was a really fun video to film. <laughs> Squish everywhere. Um, the, but back to music theory and, you know, serious stuff. Uh, I think that that chorus was in 6-4, but it was such a smooth transition. I didn't catch it until we were a little ways into it. So I'm going to go back and see if I can catch it again. I think that was a chorus. No, it's before. I like how I can understand his words. It's, it can be really difficult to get words out with harsh vocals. Uh, he does have some pitch in his often, which can help a little bit, but it's just a lot of times with the various kinds of sounds you need to make for harsh vocals and the tongue shape that's required to uh, manipulate and get some of those different really cool sounds uh, because your tongue is tied up in making harsh vocal sounds and manipulating your vocal tract, it's not available to help with enunciation of vowels or consonants. So it can be a very, very tricky balance, but I'm not having any difficulties whatsoever understanding him. So I think it's really effective how they've layered that back voice here. You can hear, um, man, it just feels like it is so tormented in the Another Day in the Dark. The front vocal feels absolutely desperate. And I I think it's, you just have to relate to it in a very human way, which is why it would break you. I totally, totally get that. And then in the background, you have this, uh, line that has a little more pitch in it that's starting to soar and it feels like there's another cry. I feel a lot of times when uh, when things are tumbling down and you just feel that crumbling inside, it isn't often just one thing. It's like maybe one thing is what started it and it started to implode, but then you have all of these other little things. And so I like, to me, I feel that there are layers in the pain here. Back just a little bit. <laughs> the way that this dance is starting off. Uh, but I need to go back to some of these vocals here. Back just one more time. Um, 
so one of the things that I like about his voice is the way he's sustaining it. You can tell that he's really got steady breath support underneath. I think um, some people falsely believe that, that harsh vocals don't have technique behind them. Uh, I'd say, I'd argue that you need to be extra careful with your technique for harsh vocals because you run more risk of damaging. So it's important to have things like breath supporting you underneath. In the course that I did on harsh vocals with Chris Lipe and Will Ramos, we talked about uh, how breath can actually level that up at one point. And I hear how Joe is using that breath support to just continue to drive it home, continue to bring that intensity. There's research on how much additional support is needed. It's almost like spine stabilization that can happen from that support for the harsh vocal in there. And he's got some pitch that's happening underneath as well. So it's really, really important that that breath support is freaking solid. That part, the two ways, the way he even just moves through that with that sustained intensity, that's, yes, we've heard higher notes, we've heard lots of moving things, but the way he's continuing through a long, low sustain, that actually shows me even more about the breath support. For some reason, are, are these dogs? I think they're, that looks like dog heads. Maybe they hear the cats. <laughs> it's incredible how they switch those heavy beats to be just a tiny bit later and it makes the whole thing feel like there's been this paradigm shift that is brilliant composition they get us used to it already being offbeat and then shift it more <laughs> <laughs> So this chorus is actually surprisingly catchy. It's something you can hook into pretty quickly. However, it's in that weird time signature. And I like the way that they've brought it together and been able to make something that is in a regular time signature. It's not crazy, it's not seven, eight, right? But it's still six, four. That's very much not normal. Uh, on the list of not normals, you know, that's that's, gonna, that's pretty far away. There's a very low percentage of songs that have that in a chorus. Very, very, very low. So the fact that they're doing this and making it catchy at the same time is like, it's subtle and it's so subtly good. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they tricked us. It really 
feels like they're talking about depression a lot in here. The, another day in the dark and the screaming of and need to get out and not able to get out of darkness. Uh, you'll, you all know me. I hugely, hugely want to encourage all of you in doing all you can to support your own mental health. Reach out when you need help, please. I've been there. I've been through the tough times and I know how hard it can be. So just want to be a shining light to say you can make it. Life does get better and dark times can be there to help show you how amazing the bright times are. That's totally clean singing there. No distortion whatsoever. In case you were wondering if you could add or take it away, there's your answer. I love her hair. How they they brought that scream and they like faded it in. That is a really really smart transition. Additionally, I'm very surprised by how mellow and almost soothing this bridge feels. It doesn't even feel metal to me. I feel like Gojira's. Um, pushing a little bit of boundary there. It, it feels definitely more like an ambiance. Uh, there's a vibe there that is a bit, uh, a bit too soothing, one might say for metal. And that's good. I think that they definitely are known for pushing boundaries. And I would say that's a moment that it feels like it's expanding the genre. Awesome. <laughs> Such a cool thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The song has an incredible combination of logic and human connection. I think that they've tapped into those feelings. They can relate to them and that instantly grabs many of us. And then at the same time, there is a sort of higher logic and design. And you see that in things like the song structure, the very risky bridge and the time signature that we're hearing in the chorus. And this sort of like crazy cat whale combination of pitches. There are so many elements that are then woven together to make just a really effective and interesting song. I love it when things trigger both my mind and my heart. And if you'd like some more analysis of that, you can check out this playlist over here. May you fall more in love with music every day. <laughs>